Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Denver Beard Reviews. If you could, to start off with, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the channel with your bearded friends. Um, today we'll be discussing my first Canadian company. Um, their name is Caribou Beard Company. After the short introduction, I'll jump right into the review. Please stand by. Welcome back, and again, thank you for your time and stopping by the channel. I truly appreciate you giving me uh, your time today and viewing my videos. The subject of today's episode will be Caribou Beard Company. They're my first Canadian beard company. Um, they are found in St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador in, Can in Canada. Um, their owner's name is Brian Goffrey. He's the founder and owner of the company. Um, he started the company in 2022 after years of being, uh, of having a beard and testing out many products throughout the North American region for your beard. Um, he soon realized that there was an obvious need for Canadian made beard products that focused on high quality ingredients and that were specifically formulated for the Canadian man that deal with unique and sometimes harsh climates and keeping that in mind. Um, he uses all organic oils and butters as well as essential oils and never uses cheap filler oils or synthetic fragrances as well as preservatives in his products. All of his product line is produced in small batches to ensure top quality control for the customer and he offers a 100% money back guarantee on everything he sells with also free shipping to the US and Canada for orders over $50. Um, he's been so far very wonderful to work with, really um, puts forth customer service and not only just advertising that but showing it truthfully um, with the experience that the customer receives. The first item that we'll be reviewing today is their one ounce beard oils. Um, to start off with, I really think that this bottle is unique. I absolutely love the white bottle with the white cap top on the, bo on the top. Um, comes in a white glass bottle and the dropper top that everyone is used to. Um, the labeling is very nice, simple, but also very neat. Um, I absolutely adore their logo, the Caribou. Uh, looks wonderful. Um, it tells you about being 100% natural, the name of the company, the scent profile, your ingredients list over here, as well as um, their mailing address, on the opposite side is directions for use and again nice simple but yet easy to read and truly gets the job done by also being just simply very appealing to the eye um, the ingredients in their oil is argan oil jojoba oil hemp seed oil grape seed oil castor oil cedarwood, fir, balsam, and, and balsam essential oils, all organic. Um, I will say that depending on the scent profile is what ingredients as far as the, uh, the essential oils for the fragrance will be found. Um, these one ounce bottles run you $20 on the website. Um, the industry average is about 15 so that this is just a little bit higher but you're getting great quality with these products so please keep that in mind. They come in three scent profiles this one being the evergreen profile. Um, they also have a scent called Alpine Breeze that I also have here and also it comes in unscented. Um, for the evergreen scent profile um, again dropper top 
bright yellow or goldish tint to the oil. Nice light oil here. The scent profile for the Evergreen is a woody scent, has cedar wood, balsam fir. Um, you definitely get that woody profile here. Um, it reminds me of that fragrance that you would experience walking through a, a deep forest. Um, absolutely wonderful scent. If you're an outdoorsman, this scent profile is definitely for you. Uh, I truly appreciate the, the feeling I get when smelling this. Um, again, smells just like you've been out in the woods. Um, the fir, the pine, the cedar that you smell. Um, you definitely get it in with this. You definitely get those fragrances within this scent profile. And again, that was the evergreen. The second um, fragrance profile that I have here is their <coughs> Alpine Breeze. Again, the same um, ingredients for the most part, excluding the essential oils, that argan oil, jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, grape seed oil, castor oil, cedarwood, patchouli, spruce, frankincense, frankincense, um, and spearmint essential oils. This is again the Alpine Breeze scent profile. This has to be actually my favorite of the two that I've smelt. Um, it has that patchouli, frankincense, cedarwood, spruce, and spearmint profile. You definitely get that earthy and woodiness on the front end with also the spearmint on the back end. It works really well together and is my favorite of the two scent profiles in my opinion. Um, mixing the earthiness of the patchouli and frankincense with the cedar wood and then coming on the back end with the spearmint really works well together. I was pleasantly surprised um, and I really enjoyed this scent. Uh, this is a scent that I could wear year long um, no matter the, the season. Um, it's very pleasant um, if you enjoy some mintiness but also uh, are an outdoorsman or like being outside, this is definitely a scent profile for you. And again, that is their Alpine Breeze. Very unique, but also very wonderful and my favorite of the two. Uh, the second item that we'll be reviewing is their two ounce beard bombs. Again, in a white container, which I feel like is a, a real nice touch white plastic container very similar label compared to the oil with your directions and ingredients list 100% uh, natural with the caribou logo that I love um, this two ounce beard balm will run you on their website $20 industry average being around $15 $16 so just a little bit higher than some but also great quality in the product that you're getting, so please keep that in mind. Um, this also comes in the three scent profiles, the Evergreen, the Alpine Breeze, and Unscented. This one being the Unscented profile. Um, the ingredients in this balm here are shea butter, cocoa butter, refined beeswax, argan oil, jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, grape seed oil, and castor oil with vitamin E oil. Um, the consistency of the, uh, the balm here, very similar to what we're used to. Uh, it's a hard balm. Has probably a, what I would consider a medium hold to your beard. Again, the scent profile is unscented. Um, you get a slight hint of the two butters that they've utilized here in the, the ingredients um, and a little bit of the beeswax but no real scent really so it doesn't wash out the fragrance of the oil that you're using underneath the balm. Um, just wonderful experience. Um, again, will not blend in with the, the oil that you have underneath the balm. Um, so, for instance, if there's a oil that you truly love 
like for instance if you use the alpine breeze oil with caribou and then put the balm over top of it it will not um, wash out the scent profile from your alpine breeze oil um, overall great product medium hold to the beard for the balm and um, does not drown out any of the fragrance underneath from your oils wonderful product the third item <clears throat> again in a white plastic container. This is actually a four ounce butter. Um, the industry average for a four ounce butter is around $15 for two ounces. Again, this is a four ounce butter for $20. This is a great deal at this volume. And uh, again, quality ingredients. So please check this out. This is an awesome deal. Um, again, similar, very, very similar um, labeling, caribou logo, 100% natural, directions and ingredients list, and again this is also in the unscented fragrance profile. You can also get Alpine Breeze and Evergreen in this as well. Um, the ingredients in this butter is shea butter, cocoa butter, argan oil, jojoba seed oil, hemp seed oil, grape seed oil, castor oil vitamin, and vitamin E oil. Um, if it had the uh, two fragrance profiles, Evergreen or Alpine Breeze, again, you would see some essential oils for the scent profile in the item. Um, the consistency of this butter is kind of that whipped, creamy butter. As you can tell, I really enjoyed this. Um, a very pleasant experience. I like to use butter in the evenings before bed and oils in the morning. Um, but again, nice creamy consistency whipped butter. Um, the scent profile again is the unscented. You do get again a little bit of the shea butter and cocoa butter fragrance in it, but it's not, not real strong whatsoever. So really an unscented product. Just wonderful, um, kept my beard nourished and moisturized throughout the night. Um, absolutely wonderful experience. Uh, my beard was very easy to come through the morning after using it overnight. And I will say that where this is unscented, that I think the Alpine Breeze scent profile in the butter would be very pleasant. I think that would be an awesome product. So please check that out. Try it out. Um, I think the spearmint would work really well overnight in my opinion of the Alpine Breeze. So again guys, um, I feel like Brian has a great prof, uh, product line here in the Caribou Beard Company out of Canada. Um, he's been awesome to work with, um, very receptive, um, easy to communicate with, always responding to any questions, concerns, um, any type of communication you have with him. He's always getting back to you in a timely manner, and I feel like he, you would experience that as a customer as well. Um, again, I absolutely love their logo here being an outdoorsman myself i think the caribou really works well and um really shines in our industry as unique but also um i feel like the canadian audience would um really appreciate this logo here um check out their products at caribou beard company excuse me caribou um, you can also find them on Instagram and Facebook. When you go to order, please tell Brian that Denver Beard Review sent you. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, please leave a comment, send me a message below. Um, I'll be able, I'll, I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Uh, again, cariboobeard.com for the website and um, tell them Denver Beard sent you. Again, thank you for your time and stopping by the channel, checking out the review. If you have any questions, please reach out. In the meantime, though, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next episode.
Take care.